Hi everyone, it's Stacy from PeonyLaneDesigns.com and I've been sick for about a month now, so consequently, I don't wanna be seen in front of a camera. So I decided to get a little crafty for this video. I have been obsessed with Cody Foster Glitter Houses since I first saw them. They are so magical and pretty. So today I'm going to take inspiration from these beautiful houses and give this thrift store find a makeover. This house came from Target and it's cute, but it is so white. So if you don't have one of these uh, domed houses, don't worry, you can always find another little house to make over like this one. I also found this at a thrift store and it's probably gonna get the same type of makeover. Or you can go to dollartree.com where they have these little houses and nicely enough, the bottle brush trees that you're gonna need for this project. I can put some links in the description below. Um, there's also a little pricier option at Michael's. So they have this option and a little birdhouse so you can take your pick. But the first thing I had to do to mine was to get the dome off. I think this was a bead of epoxy that was holding this sucker down because it was not easy to get off, but eventually I prevailed. I thought I would give this little white house a coat of the Rust-Oleum metallic paints. But as you can see, this is way more opaque than I thought it was going to be. It didn't cover at all. So it was on to plan B, which was a sample I received of the Valspar paints, which looked a whole lot better, not as opaque. I had to really work the brush all around the little details and the little trees that are on the platform that this thing is glued down to. So make sure if you're doing one like this that you have a few detail brushes on hand. Um, I definitely didn't want to get paint on the windows. I kind of messed up a little bit in some places, but um, once I got the detail brush in there, I did a much, much better job. So that's, you know, get the details in there, make sure you don't get it on the windows. And then after a second coat of blue paint, I think it was right where I wanted it to be as far as the color on the base coat. Then it was time to mix your glitter with your Mod Podge to make sure the glitter would only be on the house and not everywhere in my house. And then I painted it on the house in a nice thick coat. Then I mix some pink glitter into the Mod Podge and I put it on the roof. The epoxy I cut left a nice sharp edge. DIY is not for wimps. After a quick first aid break, I finished the roof. Then it was time to embellish the yard, so I cut the bases off a few bottle brush trees because I wanted them to sit flat onto the ground. Now I wanted to find a cute little pickup truck to put in the yard, but I couldn't find one the right size. But I did find this little guy and his cute snowman. Finally, this is how it turned out. Not bad, I think. My colors are brighter, much brighter than in the inspiration piece, which I'm okay with. I like bright colors. And I wish my dome sides were straight so that they didn't crush my trees. Um, but this little fellow looks happy with the changes. Uh, look how cute he is with this little snowman. Here 
Here's where we started and this is where we are now. Thanks for watching everyone. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. As always, happy junkin' everyone. Bye! Visit my blog, PeonyLaneDesigns.com for more tips, tricks, and inspiration. Thanks for watching everyone. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll be notified of new videos. I post every week DIY tutorials and of course, more junkin' videos.